Hello, my name is Alberto Marquez and I will try to explain in this video uh, how effective interest rates work. Imagine uh, that you have a nominal rate nominal rate of um, say 1% per period and you have the period 1, 2, 3, 4 and then at the beginning of the period the balance at the beginning let's say we start with a thousand dollars the interest that you will get will be of course one percent in if it, the nominal rate is one percent uh, per period the um, interest that you will get is one thousand dollars times that one percent that is ten dollars so the final balance at the end of that period would be just one thousand plus ten dollars that is we earn one percent so percentage wise how much did we make we make ten percent out of one th I mean ten dollars out of uh, one thousand that of course is one percent but cumulative, uh, cumulatively we have earned um, one thousand and ten dollars minus one thousand original investment that is we make ten dollars and in total we have made one percent We have made one percent in one period. So this is how how percentage wise how much we make this period. This is the interest that we have earned total. And this is our percentage total total percentage earned right so that's what we have and then of course at the beginning of the second uh, period we start with uh, with one thousand and ten dollars and we make now ten dollars and ten cents because we have made the uh, ten percent out of the ten dollars so the final balance is now one thousand and twenty dollars and ten cents let's format that so you can see it and the percentage that we earn for this period is one percent the total interest earned so far is twenty dollars and ten cents so that means that percentage wise we have made two point oh one percent not two percent into periods because of the compounding process if I keep doing the same thing for the next periods after three periods I would have made three point uh, three point oh three oh one percent and after four periods I would have made 4.0604 percent so that means that it's not only times four it is because it, it is compounding we're making more than just the interest uh, that we have and really the formula for effective interest rate is just this uh, it's a shortcut to allow us to compute this number here the effective interest rate we compute uh, for one percent um, the I effective is equals to one plus the rate that I that it's compounding per period. That's a very key thing. 
we need to figure out which is the compounding rate per period or or in other words we need to figure out what's the in, the interest rate at, at every compounding period and that we raise to the number of periods let's say if I use the three month in this case I get that number and I then uh, the formula asks me to from that number subtract the original one and this number is just the 30301 percent because essentially it is this is exactly the same process that we did here we allow the, the interest rate to compound three times and then at the end we subtract or we take into consideration that we start with a thousand dollars to begin with and and that's that's it there is no magic into the effective interest rate it's just a shortcut for doing these computations let's make these numbers a little larger so you can actually see them there you go so this number and that number are exactly the same because they are effective for three periods with the 3.0301 now sometimes the compounding period is a month but you are interested in how many um, what's the interest rate not for one month but what's the interest rate say for three months and say the nominal rate the nominal rate by law has to be spe specified in um, yearly terms so let's say that the nominal rate is 12 percent that means that the monthly rate is simply 12 divided by 12 percent divided by 12 months that means that that's equal to one percent and if that's the that if that's the interest rate for one month the effective interest rate for three months is just what we obtain here because for one percent, if one percent is monthly, the effective interest rate for three months is just the number that we obtain here um, by virtue of either the formula, which is computed here, or by virtue of doing all the process for three months and then subtracting the or dividing by the original one thousand. So um, whatever it is that we make, let me include more digits here. Of course. This is not affected percentage-wise by the amount that you invest. You could have started invested one dollar, and these numbers are not going to change because it only the only uh, computation here is percentage uh, as a as a as a ratio of the total interest to the initial investment. I could have started with a one million, and although I have problems here displaying these numbers because of the sheer size of it these numbers are not going to change because again it's just a ratio of how many dollars I am making out of my initial investment and um, that doesn't affect of course the percentage so there you go that's uh, the interpretation remember it, it you don't you should not try to apply these formulas just by calling the formula and trying to plug in numbers into it all these formulas represent a process of compounding that is behind it and the formulas just allow you to make a shortcut on this process but if you don't understand the process behind the formula you will never understand when to use which formula and when to use another one so um, I hope this makes it clearer and um, uh, I'm posting this video soon, or by the time you see it, it's already posted, of course. So, talk to you later.